Alrighty, so here we go back in game number two. Uh, we actually did a little bit of digging and it looks like the, the reason, so Hugo didn't have an artifact in the uh, at the end of the last game in which we thought oh, oh this was weird maybe he was thinking that he had an artifact to deal the three damage but um, Hugo was actually already attacking with get yep. with the the five five Gideon and um, and because when Gideon is uh, a creature it, you prevent all damage so just by getting rid of the blocker with the unlicensed disintegration Hugo was still gonna be able to deal five with the Gideon yep. he, you know you could have used the Dynavolt towers to deal three damage and redirect to Gideon, but it wouldn't have actually done anything. Nope. Yep. Didn't matter. So yeah, weird kind of corner case that uh, is actually probably important to know if you're using Dynavolt Towers against Gideons. Yep. Nope. Hey, gotta do it either. I've, I've seen some people mess up on that before yeah. too, so. Yeah. And so Hugo ends up getting there. Um, yeah. Okay. Why, well, did he, why did he show the cup? I don't know. Uh, oh, you know what? So what ended up happening here is... Uh, he oh. played the, he forgot the energy off of the Aether Hub. Oh. Uh, not the Aether Hub, pardon me, off of the Attune with Aether. Yeah, right. Okay. And uh, was not able to play the Cub. So instead he has to kind of backtrack and maybe Yikes. Magma Spray. Yes, exactly. And now uh, Orlando is a little bit behind. Um, and well, Did Hugo's he got the one drop into two off drop. of the attune and the no Aether the hub? turn one it was turn one attune oh. to play or pardon me turn one Aether hub using the energy to play the attune finding a forest but oh, okay. then not getting that energy and so, Hugo did not give him the yes, miss trigger exactly okay. I wouldn't have either at this point yes uh, but Hugo's doing exactly what Hugo wants to do one drop into two drop. And oh, okay. Magus well, spray. double magra spray has a little bit to say about that. Yep. Uh, if you know, if I guess if you were going to miss a trigger, you'd rather have the you like to have the backup of you know double removal spell. Yeah, exactly. Which he was able to have right here. But it looks like Hugo's hand is actually kind of stacked. He's got yeah. multiple things to play every single turn. You exiled these guys once. Let's see if you can do it again. Yes, come at me, bro. Ooh. Uh, we've got Dude. land plus. I wasn't. Was Draven that a inspector. Draven inspector? Yeah. Well, we've already determined it's the best card in standard. I, I definitely think so, and that would turn on his Toolcraft Exemplar. Yeah, exactly. Plus, oh man, it is, it, uh, it's a marvel how well the mana base works in Mardu. It makes zero sense. It really does. Why, <laughs> how they're always able to have all of the colors that they need yeah. with no, it, it's, it's, they don't even have to try. Yep. I mean, that's part of what makes Mardu, I think, one of the top decks, actually. Like, it just has had the colors that it needs and wants to play and the lands have been there for it mm -hmm. and you want to play these creatures really early and lucky for you there's a red white fast land and a black white fast land it's crazy and you are playing so many artifacts that spire is often yeah who, who cares you pay the mana to be able to generate whatever colors and pay the life yeah ex yeah pay, pay the life yeah pardon me um and geez he's just flooding the the board with with multiple Three one and two drops and uh the toolcraft exemplar due to that clue is actually a three power creature mm -hmm. oh and uh deciding to take it i probably would have traded off with the uh uh mm. the i uh, trade off with it does it maybe i would trade off with the veteran motorist at that point because yep. i guess if there's like a heart of kieran you don't want to you don't want it to be a five power attacker fire coming down and a scrap heap scrounger yep okay now we just have all of the things Clue might as well be a creature too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why not swing in with it? Well, at least this does enable him to crack the clue and still get the uh, the buff for the toolcraft exemplar. It still still pumps up uh, its power. Yep. He continues to leave the cub sitting there. This oh. is this is one of those interesting questions you have to ask yourself. If I'm not attacking, and I'm not blocking, what am I doing what, what with am I my do creature? Yeah, exactly. What am I doing? Sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of times where I've just sat there like, well, you aren't going to block, so you might as well attack. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, if, if that's what you're going to be doing, sh maybe maybe the cub is holding off the Thraven Inspector, but if, if that's your game plan, then that's not something. Then Hugo's going to do what he does and just not I'm just, swing with the Thraven Inspector. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and just attack with everything else. If you want to trade, that's fine with me. If you want to sit here and take it and not do anything in the backswing, then sure. And I think that's going to kind of be his downfall. He's going to go to two here and... He, he's got two here and virtually everything is lethal. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly, yep, yeah, he's got three lethal threats here. 
And it, I guess it didn't really help that he's kind of flooding pretty... Orlando's flooding pretty hard mm -hmm. right now. Uh, I mean, I guess he can animate the uh, Lumbering Falls, but True. once again, we've got multiple threats. Three lethal creatures right here, and he can even get in with a Thraven Inspector, and if he's somewhere <laughs> able to, like, instant speed Swelter of the Suns... Well, the hand is extended, yeah, the hand and is it looks extended. like Hugo goes on to the finals. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, looks like we've got a, a bunch of lands and a Ooh. Bristling Hydra. Interesting, though, he had the double green. Why, why not play the Hydra? Why not just play the Bristling Hydra? I don't know. I don't maybe, know maybe Orlando saw that the writing was on the wall and decided, nah, I'm just gonna kind of just sit back here and I've enjoyed my run with my first uh, PPTQ top eight, my first PPTQ, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm just see if I can get there otherwise. No, and it was very impressive showing from Orlando. I like like his deck, and I congratulations on going to semifinals. Yeah, definitely, and uh, we're gonna be seeing Hugo in the final soon, so it's actually gonna be Mardu versus uh, Blue Red Control. Seems spicy. Yeah, spicy indeed. See you soon.